Have you seen the jumps and somersaults that wrestlers do? And performed by real bruisers weighing over 440 pounds? Ouch! I'll show you the biggest fighters in the history of wrestling who did incredible things in the ring. To understand the scale, at the end there will be a little guy weighing around 880 pounds. So keep watching. Yokozuna And let's start with Rodney, known by the nickname Yokozuna, one of the most massive and decorated wrestlers. How much did he weigh? He reached an incredible 530 pounds at the peak of his career. Despite his Samoan heritage, Yokozuna was portrayed on television as a Japanese sumo wrestler, which involved solemn ring entrances in the Japanese style and a ritual of throwing salt like professional sumo wrestlers. Yokozuna was not only huge, but also incredibly strong, making him a formidable opponent in the ring. Everyone sincerely feared him because he could even accidentally injure someone. Yokozuna debuted in WWE in 1992 and quickly achieved success, winning the Royal Rumble in 1993 and defeating Bret Hart to win the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 9. But his celebration was short-lived, as the flamboyant Hulk Hogan showed up and took the title from him in a spontaneous match just minutes later. During his career, Yokozuna participated in many memorable matches with stars like The Undertaker, Lex Luger and Bret Hart. His signature move was the Banzai Drop. Yokozuna would trap his opponent in the corner and then jump on them with all his weight. Poor guys! Unfortunately, his weight became a health issue. After leaving WWE in 1996, Yokozuna continued to gain weight due to old eating habits and lack of physical activity. It was rumored that his weight even reached 760 pounds. Ultimately, Yokozuna passed away in 2000 at the age of 34 from pulmonary edema caused by his obesity. A sad story, but excess weight never brought anyone good. Although he's not the biggest wrestler on my list. Giant Andre Andre René Rusimov, better known as Andre the Giant, was one of the most popular French wrestlers. He impressed with his size, standing at 7 feet 35 inches tall and weighing 540 pounds at the peak of his powers. But it's not that simple. These incredible dimensions were the result of his congenital condition, acromegaly. It's a permanent excess of growth hormone. Andre's wrestling career began back in 1960, and he quickly became popular due to his size and strength. In 1973, he joined the WWE and became a real fan favorite. One of his most famous rivalries was with Hulk Hogan, which reached its peak in the historic match at WrestleMania 3 in 1987. 93,000 spectators attended that match, setting a record at the time. Throughout his career, Andre demonstrated not only strength, but also incredible agility, performing strikes and maneuvers that seemed impossible for a man of his size. And, of course, he had his own fighting style. One of his signature moves was the sitting splash, where he essentially crushed his opponent with all his body weight. Outside of wrestling, Andre also became famous for his role as Fazek in the 1987 film The Princess Bride. His unique appearance and very gentle character made him a real favorite of millions. Unfortunately, Andre's health deteriorated in the last years of his life due to acromegaly, which I already mentioned, and he passed away in 1993 at the age of 46. In recognition of his contribution to the development of wrestling, Andre posthumously entered the WWE Hall of Fame, becoming the first member of this honorary club. John Earthquake John Tenta, better known by his wrestling nickname Earthquake, was a Canadian professional wrestler whose weight at the peak of his form reached a remarkable 461 pounds. He began his wrestling career in the late 1980s and joined the WWE only in 1989. Earthquake quickly made a name for himself, having very spectacular fights thanks to his dimensions and incredible strength. He quickly became one of the bad guys of that time, engaging in battles with wrestling stars like Hulk Hogan and The Warrior. His signature move, the Earthquake Splash, involved him jumping from the second rope of the ring and landing on his opponent with all his body weight. 
truly an earthquake. Throughout his career, John demonstrated impressive agility for a man of his size. He easily performed jumps, throws and vertical splashes, mesmerizing the audience with his unique combination of size and athleticism. After leaving WWE in the mid-90s, Tenta continued to perform in various promotions before retiring in 2004. He passed away in 2006 at the age of 42 from bladder cancer. Earthquake's contribution to the world of professional wrestling is hard to overstate. But let's move on, there will be even bigger guys ahead. King Kong Bundy And where would we be without the famous King Kong Bundy, known in the world as Christopher Allen Pallies? At the height of his career, his weight reached a staggering 452 pounds. Bundy began his wrestling journey in the early 80s and joined the WWE in 1985. His imposing size and aggressive behavior made him a true villain and antagonist to Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. One of Bundy's signature moves was the avalanche splash, during which he would corner his opponent and crash down on them with all his body weight. One of his most famous matches was the WrestleMania II in 1986, where he battled Hulk Hogan in a steel cage match for the WWE Championship. The match was brutal, with both fighters actively using the unforgiving steel cage to their advantage. In the end, Hogan emerged victorious, but Bundy's performance cemented his status as one of the league's main villains due to his unsportsmanlike conduct during the match. Bundy was known for his ability to endure tremendous damage and deliver even greater in return. His matches were often quite slow-paced, he would stall and wear down his opponent to ultimately finish the fight with his signature moves. After leaving WWE in 1988, Bundy continued to wrestle in various promotions before retiring in 2007. Big Show Well, since we're talking about veterans, I simply must tell you about another legend of heavyweight wrestling. Paul White II, better known by the pseudonym Big Show, is an American professional wrestler who spent over two decades in the WWE ring. At the peak of his form, he weighed a whopping 436 pounds. Big Show is one of the largest and most successful heavyweights in the history of professional wrestling. Big Show's career began in WCW in 1995, where he quickly established himself as a dominant force in the ring. In 1999, he moved to WWE, where he had one of the brightest careers in the league's history. During his time in WWE, Big Show won the WWE Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship and the ECW Championship. Not bad, right? One of the Big Show's most impressive traits is his longevity in the sport. Despite his huge size, he managed to maintain a high level of performance as he approached his 50s. His ability to adapt to different eras and styles of wrestling made him the most stable wrestler in the WWE for over 20 years, a true veteran of his craft. But let's move on! Vader Here's another old-school powerhouse. Leon Allen White, better known by the pseudonym Vader, was a true monster, weighing in at almost 440 pounds. White began his wrestling career in the 1980s and quickly established himself as one of the most aggressive heavyweights in the league. Vader always performed as a masked villain, intimidating his opponents with his size, strength and agility. He was known for his stiff, striking style in the ring, and his matches often turned into bloody brawls. His signature move, the Vader Bomb was involved him jumping from the top rope of the ring and landing on his opponent. Throughout his career, Vader competed in various promotions around the world, including WWE, WCW and NJPW. He won numerous championship titles, including the WCW Heavyweight Championship before retiring significantly lighter. Gonzalez and where would we be without Jorge Gonzalez? He was an Argentine professional wrestler and basketball player, standing at an incredible 7.6 feet tall and weighing 418 pounds during his WWE performances. A real mountain. Gonzalez began his wrestling career in the early 90s and joined WWE in 1993. 
he played the role of a bold villain, who intimidated everyone with his dimensions. Giant Gonzalez was first introduced to the WWE audience at the Royal Rumble 1993, where he eliminated several top stars from the tournament. The most memorable moment of his career was his rivalry with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 9. Despite all his efforts, Gonzalez was ultimately defeated, but the matches were very exciting. Although the Giants' tenure in the league was relatively short, his impact on the company cannot be denied. His unique appearance and incredible size made him a legendary figure in the eyes of fans. After leaving WWE in 1993, Gonzalez continued to perform on the independent circuit before retiring from the sport in the late 90s. He then tried his hand at acting, appearing in films such as The Flintstones and The Longest Yard, but it didn't quite work out, and returning to the big sport was no longer an option due to health reasons. By the way, have you seen the strongest wrestler in history? Mark Henry Mark Henry, also known as the world's strongest man, is an American power lifter, Olympic weightlifter, strong man and professional wrestler. Yes, he's a real muscle mountain, weighing in at 396 pounds. Henry began his wrestling career in 1996 and remained a very prominent figure in WWE for over two decades. His strength in the ring was impressive. He could perform incredible feats, from jumps and flips to power shows, where he would haul multiple trailers with his bare hands. He won the World Heavyweight Championship and the ECW Championship, solidifying his status as one of the best heavyweights in the lineup. Henry also had memorable matches against stars like The Undertaker, Kane and Big Show. One of the most famous moments of his career was his emotional farewell performance in 2013 on Raw, where he announced his retirement, only to then stage a surprise attack on John Cena. This unexpected turn led to a tense showdown between the two men, in which Henry ultimately lost. Despite his aggressive behavior in the ring, Henry is also known for his kind heart and charitable work outside of wrestling. He has been involved in various organizations, supporting underprivileged children and used his platform to draw attention to important social issues. In recent years, Henry has transitioned into a backstage role in WWE, working as a producer and mentor for young talent. Michael Maximum Capacity Stanko But remember I promised to show you incredible heavyweights weighing over 650 pounds. And the first of them, Michael Maximum Capacity Stenko, was an extraordinarily large wrestler, weighing 650 pounds at just 6 feet tall. In the ring, he couldn't perform spectacular moves or move quickly, which made him a typical slow powerhouse. However, Michael had charisma, and he successfully used it by playing the roles of ruthless villains on various independent wrestling platforms. His career spanned over 10 years, from 2001 to 2012, and included performances at numerous indie shows. Tragically, towards the end of his career, Michael was diagnosed with colon cancer. He fought this dreadful disease for three years. When it became apparent that recovery was impossible, Michael made the decision to crowdfund his funeral expenses, with the required amount being only $5,000. Unfortunately, by the time of his death, the necessary amount had not been raised. Michael passed away at the age of 47, leaving behind a legacy as an extremely talented ring performer with an indomitable spirit. William Cobb And the absolute record holder in the history of wrestling. Happy Humphrey, whose real name was William Cobb, became a wrestling icon due to his incredible weight. On average, he weighed 802 pounds, and at peak times, his weight even exceeded 882 pounds. Humphrey entered the ring in 1953 and remains the heaviest wrestler of all time. His impressive size attracted attention, but Humphrey's life was full of difficulties due to his excess weight. His professional wrestling career lasted almost 10 years, during which Humphrey faced many challenges. He had to modify cars for basic transportation, and he often got stuck in chairs, sometimes requiring rescue assistance. Nevertheless, Humphrey was considered one of the best wrestlers in striking technique and proper ring falls, allowing him to maintain a high level of professionalism even at his size. 
In 1962, when Humphrey found it difficult to even walk 10 steps without getting out of breath, he took his health seriously. He underwent liposuction surgery, losing a hundred pounds, and then sought treatment and strictly adhered to a diet. In two years, Happy Humphrey managed to lose weight to 231 pounds and even earned a mention in the Guinness Book of Records. However, unfortunately, over time, he regained weight. William Cobb passed away in 1989 from a heart attack at the age of 62. As you can understand, the life of a heavyweight wrestler is quite colorful, but more often than not, not long-lasting, as excess weight is never beneficial. Therefore, it's better to earn money in a safer way. For example, if you can write scripts, edit videos, or do voiceovers, then welcome to our team! The link to the Telegram bot will be in the description. Thanks for watching.